Uh, I'm guessing it's time right now. As you can hear the car running, uh, what we'll about you're doing it? Um, so I bought an STI short block. We're gonna be taking a WX short block out of here, putting the STI bottom in, uh, get my heads and stuff resurfaced, and put everything back together. We might even do some extra stuff yet. Not sure yet. I don't want to say yes, but we're gonna do it. We're not doing so. Hey, stay tuned. All right. We fly, no lie. Is Nick bowling? Bowling! So like we're literally just sitting in a parking lot. Carter, Josh, what are we doing? Day was freaking sick. It's been a whole vibe. So I totally just said screw it. You see this? What does that mean? We outside. We outside. <laughs> yes, we are. We outside. So this car has not seen the sunlight in probably five months. Ugh, ugh. So obviously battery keeps dying because I ain't driven forever. So gonna jump it off and then pull it inside. Start ripping this thing apart. Yeah, this thing's dead as can be. I guess this is happening. Well, here we are. About to mess some stuff up. First, just go ahead and get everything out of the way. We're gonna snatch the hood off. Go ahead and get that out so we gotta worry about messing our head up, being in this, being in that. And then battery, radiator, and so on and so forth. So let's get to it. I never thought I was gonna be doing this this soon. So, this all kind of new to me, but like, whatever, bro. At least. I mean, you know, I didn't think I was gonna have a stage two plus car in less than a week. But hey, friends with Nick Bowling and uh, Lee. So, so. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. That's my fault. I apologize. We're already moving so fast. Man, it. Just looking at it, this motor, it really ain't that big. Like, it's really not. It's kind of congested, but. Other than that, but it's, it's not that bad. All right, as we, as you can see, we move really quick. Drain the coolant, take the upper and lower radiator hose off, and then you'll have the bracket here, bracket here, and then you'll pretty much be able to snap that off. Um, on the <laughs> on the belts, I went ahead and cut the belts. Who cares? I'm putting new ones on anyways. AOS, all that stuff is from either it's still on the AO, on the AOS itself. Or we, I left the the plumbing, like the hard, I mean the uh, the hoses on the motor, so we can just pull it out with it. So realistically, we're moving super quick. So honestly, most of the harness is unplugged. I mean, we're we're moving pretty fast here. So hopefully, in the next hour, why this thing sitting on the ground? But we'll see. We just put the car on the lift. Uh, next up, we're gonna drain the oil. Drain the oil right now. Go ahead and get that out of there and then we got to take the 14s all off the bell housing that hold the, the motor to the transmission there's some trick ones to get to right here behind the cv axle you can get to with the swivel and then we got to get the 14 off the starter and then hopefully this thing comes apart <sighs> not too bad not too bad not it's not too terrible but we're getting there there's a 14 right there you can get to it with a swivel you have another one right there Get the 17 on a starter. Another one to get to right here behind the axle. One right there and then up there. There's two more up top. 
So once you get those out, this should kind of separate and then hopefully we have everything loose from down here. Just double check and then we can start pulling the motor out from the top. All right, so we took the 14s off right there on that passenger side mount and then that one on the driver's side. So now we're just kind of double checking, make sure everything that was up here is loose as far as connectors. Then we can finish pulling out the, the hardware for the transmission to the bell housing, I mean, to the motor. And just make sure we're good. This is way easier than pulling the transmission out. That's terrible. So We've got everything done on the bottom. Got all the bell housing bolts out. Got the starter out everything so now we got the engine hoist over here now we can go and hook it up to the chain to the brackets and stuff and then uh put the chain to the engine hoist start jacking it up and start moving the motor from the transmission so i'm excited i cannot wait and she's coming out this actually really wasn't even that bad it's a couple things we had to do harness back there and stuff was still stuck one of the ac lines got stuck but other than that wasn't too bad so motors officially out sitting on the engine stand i purple powered the engine bay and just to kind of see how clean it would get i mean it looks pretty good there's a couple spots like right there i don't like i mean you can't see it but the fact that i know we pull the motor out and that's there is going to drive me nuts so i might end up pulling everything out of the engine bay brake lines and all and then color matching the engine bay to the color of the car so color matching it i think it looked pretty good well, other than that i made a hell of a mess but here's the motor it had a slight knock in cylinder number three but i didn't let it get too bad because i parked it so then i just kind of like you know what it's time to do it so put an sti motor in here so it'd be a little bit more bulletproof i ended up going with a uh 2007 sti motor so obviously they're all pretty much the same but yeah caught it got it straight through subaru Got a brand new one. So I'm just gonna snag everything off of this as far as like the intake manifold and stuff. Uh, Intercooler piping, I'm probably gonna get it powder coated white. I'm, I'm not not too sure yet, but super excited. So I'm gonna clean my mess up and then tomorrow I'm gonna come in here and probably start ripping the engine bay apart. So um, yeah, guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, so instead of tearing the, mo the engine bay apart, we're gonna tear the motor apart because I need, <clears throat> <laughs> I need to take the intake off. I need to take the heads off. So all this has got to come off and I got to take the heads off so I can send those to the machine shop. So I'm going to go ahead and start tearing this apart. That way we can take the heads off, send them out, and then pretty much that's it. Let's go. Super gang. Hmm. All right, so first things first, grab the tools. We're going to start taking the intake manifold and stuff off so we can start taking all the accessories and stuff apart. So he can stop now. All right, so we finally got the intake manifold off. That only took a year. Oh, and my camera died. But no, it didn't die. I actually ran out of space, but whatever. So manifold's off. Now we get all this other bullshit off. And then take the heads off. Here's all your this, problem. All this other up, Here's brother. your problem. <laughs> all these leaves. Do what? All this little shiza over here. <clears throat> you ain't got no gas in it. Yeah, I really think both of these dudes need Jesus. Hey, problem. Cause Jesus Christ is my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with him. So right now, the turb ski's having an issue coming off because the studs are rusted. Mm -mm -mm. CB crabs. No hardware problem. Kind of being a nightmare. So bad news. Can't take the heads off. We need a special tool to take this off, and we don't have it. 
but Cam gears off daddy all right so we got everything off the engine it's pretty much bare we got a timing cover all that stuff off intake manifold was kind of a pain in the ass but it is what it is never been off before got all the hoses and stuff off we're kind of stumped just for the simple fact is the cam gears themselves with this body style as you're making model there's no way to put anything on the cam gear to, to i mean on the cam on the inside of the head to be able to break the cam gear off so it needs like a special tool, which I do not have. I'll show you. There's a special tool that I guess goes over this to where you can pull the cam gear off. And so I could be able to get this cover off, this cover off, and then be able to take the head off and blah, blah, blah. So we're kind of stopped here it's as far as we can go. But everything's already out, obviously. I mean, the only thing we got left to do is to pull the heads off so I can send this to the machine shop and then wait for my short block to get here. Like I said, didn't want to go with a IEG short block. I wanted something that I wouldn't dog, wouldn't get on, nothing like that. I want it to be um, like more dependable and stuff. So I went with an STI short block. I'm going to send my heads off, like I said, to the machine shop, put those heads with new gaskets, all that other stuff onto that new short block, and then pretty much everything else new. Water pump, oil pump. I'm going to do everything brand new, tensioner, the whole nine yard, yard. So, I mean, obviously, it's a stance car. We're not doing anything crazy with this car so i want it to be very dependable something i can drive anywhere and have any problems with it so mm -hmm. kind of stuck here so um ap got anything to add just stay tuned man we know we've been slipping more content coming though amen got some stuff planned waiting for parts to come in gotcha i think they told me seven to ten business days on the short blocks obviously the way the world's going right now you can't get nothing it, nothing's available because of how things are but um, yeah, so parts should start rolling in here soon. So just stay tuned with this AP. All right, you guys.